Good morning, everyone. My name is Warren Wickman, and I am the Faculty Director of Instructional Technologies here at the School of Medicine. So first off, I want to say congratulations to all of you. Just sitting in this room for Revisit Day is a huge accomplishment and probably represents hundreds and maybe even thousands of hours of hard work and preparation. So in case you haven't heard it before, congrats. We're happy to have you here. We look forward to having you here in the fall as well. So big pat on the back for all of you. Second, I want to apologize for not being able to be here in person to talk to you about what my group does, the Instructional Technologies Group. But I'm hoping that this video will provide a pretty good overview of what we are doing and what we plan to do over the next four years. Now, two very important people from my team are there today, and they are Dr. Mary Frances Itma Wong and Dr. Julie Yum, and they're both amazing members of my team that you need to meet need to get to know because they're going to play a very big role in your education with the iPads over the next four years. So please stop by, say hi, ask them a couple questions if you will. So why don't we get on with it? What you really want to hear about today, of course, is this. This is the iPad, and none of you are probably strangers to the iPad, but what you may not know is what we're doing with the iPad here at UCI. Now we don't just have an iPad program, what we have is what we call our iMedEd curriculum, and I want to spend a few minutes talking about what that actually means and what it actually has done over the past two years for our students. So let's get started. So what exactly is iMedEd? Well, apart from it being a play on Apple's naming convention, what it's really come to represent here at Irvine is interactive medical education and innovative medical education. And what it's really actually become is sort of a comprehensive reboot of our entire medical school curriculum. We're taking existing and brand new technologies and really incorporating them into every aspect of our medical school curriculum to sort of raise the bar of the quality of education that we can provide our students. And this includes a brand new medical education building, state-of-the-art SIM center, um, of course, the iPads, reinvestment into podcasting technologies, and of course, our bedside ultrasound curriculum. Now, not that there's nothing, not that there's anything wrong with kind of traditional tech techniques of learning. You know, here is your first year of medical school, 33 pounds of textbooks, about six to 48,000 pages, depending on how many you print out. Not to say that there's anything wrong with learning this way. It got you this far, but we think that there's a much better way that we can do this. And by using the technology that we have available to us here at UC Irvine, what we envision is taking all of that content and putting it into an easy-to-use, easy-to-carry device that actually fits in your white coat pocket. So now, when you have a device like that, it really opens the possibilities to allow you to study anytime anywhere, you know, in environments like this where you're waiting for a plane, or for some of you, environments like this. So what does iMedEd mean for you as a prospective student here at UCI next year? Well, first and foremost, it means your own iPad. Now, unlike some of the other programs out there that have loaner iPads that you have to return after two or three or even four years, this is going to be your device to keep when you graduate. And even more so, we're going to load this device with all of the digital content and digital textbooks that you're going to need throughout your entire medical school career. So now when we talk about the content itself, a lot of things are not going to change. You're still going to have to read, you're still going to have to study, you're still going to have to take notes. But you can see here, when you do this on the iPad, it sort of raises the level and raises the potential quality of this material that you're going to generate and study from. You can import uh, images from your textbooks, you can search your notes, you can annotate, you can mark them up, you can do a lot more using the iPad, and these are a couple of great examples. Now when we look at textbooks, it's really key to note that we're not just simply picking titles that are digital replications of the material. We're looking at titles that are digital sort of transformations of the material into interactive, immersive learning tools. We want content that you can manipulate, that you can play with, that you can quiz yourself on, and this is the kind of level and kind of caliber of textbook that we want to provide for you and are going to provide for you next year. So in addition to these things, iMedEd is also podcasts, and it's also 
a wide variety of apps for studying and productivity. Now there's tons of apps out there and our students have done a great job of finding good ways to improve how they study. So this is a great app called Anki, which is a digital flashcard app. It keeps track of your scores, it keeps track of what material you know and you don't know. It allows you to create custom flashcard decks that you can sh save and share with other students and a lot of students have really caught on to this as well. Here's a presentation done using Prezi that took the same kind of static biochemistry pathways that the students have had for years and years and years, but after having their iPad for a period of time, they got really into having interactive material that they can really get into. So the students over the summer put together this great Prezi on the biochemical pathways of glucose metabolism and have really raised the bar for how you can revamp material to make it more engaging and allow it to be more processable on a device like the iPad. And in the anatomy lab too, we found that the iPad really has a good role for getting your hands you know, on the material, getting your hands in the dissection, kind of going back and forth, having all that content available in one easy location. So now we have dedicated iPads in the anatomy lab to help you with your studies. So iMedEd is also about students being innovators and instructors that are really moving our initiative forward. So there is this innovators group of students and this Tech Talk Tuesdays that we host that's pretty much an open mic type setup where students can come up, show, show off apps that they've reviewed, show off how they're using the iPad to help them study, to help them have fun, just to help them in general. And it's a very informal format, but it sort of raises the collective awareness of apps and raises the collective awareness of how students can better use the iPad in their daily lives and in their studies. A lot of faculty attend these sessions. They're podcasted as well in case the students can't go. And these have really become a popular piece for what we're doing here at Irvine. Now some students have gone that extra mile and are putting together their own podcasts. This is Kate, for example. She had a problem where she couldn't find a really good stylus that she liked using because she did so much handwriting. So she found out a way to make her own stylus that raised a lot of uh, inquiries by other students, so she put a little workshop together. Some students couldn't make it to that, and so she decided to put together her own podcast, which is now up on our iTunes U site, and is probably one of our most popular podcasts out there. Another great student story is Dave. Dave is going to be in MS3 starting next week, so good luck, Dave. And what he did was he went to Vietnam for the summer, and he wanted to take his iPad with him and figure out how well does my iPad actually work in one, a clinical environment, and two, a clinical environment overseas, and then three, the clinical environment overseas, but like in rural Vietnam. So we put together this little white paper on how well the iPad functions in each one of these environments and started talking about the implications of international work and global health and disaster medicine. And so we have a couple students this year going to different places like China and Australia to continue Dave's work that he started. On a more local level, we have had students with an amazing group called Flying Sam's that are now going down to a clinic and they created their own clinical, pretty much electronic medical record using their iPad, using the Numbers app because they didn't have a good way of keeping track of patients before. It was easy and secure to some degree. So now they've put together this whole electronic medical record on an iPad to provide better care to these patients that they see. And this one is great too. Instead of just doodling you know, on a napkin or on the back of a piece of paper, students now have better tools for patient education. This one's an app called GIFPAD that allows the students to pretty much record an informal session with a patient, save it as a video file, email it to the patient so they have a better record of what's going on, and it creates an opportunity for the students to become better educators as well. So to recap briefly, the iPad is your own iPad with all of this amazing digital textbook, digital content, podcasts, apps for studying and productivity, but it's also a chance for you to become an instructor, to become an innovator that can help push this whole movement forward, 
It's about new research and international opportunities using technology to find new ways in both of these arenas to do things. It's about rethinking patient care and patient education, and it's about training you as a student how to become a better digital physician, how to become better equipped to become a digital physician in the 21st century. So all of these things together with IMEDED are really about what it comes down to, creating a new and innovative approach to learning. And here at UCI, we're extremely proud of this curriculum that we're putting together. We're extremely proud of this iPad initiative and grateful for such amazing students to keep pushing our initiative forward. And we're really, really hoping that you'll join us here in the fall and help contribute to what's becoming a great curriculum here. So thank you very much for your time. I look forward to seeing you all in the fall. My email address is listed here. So please, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Have a great day. Have a lot of fun. We'll see you soon. Goodbye.